I'm a little choking over here because of that apple cider vinegar. But do you like pork chops and applesauce? Hi, thanks for joining Friends Test Kitchen where Kat and I scour the internet and magazines and any place we can find a good and easy recipe for you to try at home. Today we're making Michael Simon's pork chop and apple scallopini. It sounds delicious so we wanted to try it out for ourselves and see just how good it really is. The details of the recipe are always found in the link below in our description box. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that subscribe button down below. So the recipe seems easy enough and it's only supposed to take 20 minutes from start to plating. Uh, we're going to start with the pork chops and you're going to first pound it to make it tender and thin and season both sides with salt and pepper. And now that that's done, we are going to warm up our pan and put a little bit of olive oil in it. So Gina and I were interested in making this recipe because it's close to the holidays and it's just such a different time now so there's none of that giant turkey or giant ham anymore because it's just going to be like immediate family. So Gina and I were looking at ways of maybe spicing up um, you know, Christmas dinner with just something extra. Yeah, did you notice the apples are red and green? I do. The gala apple and the granny smith. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if that was for flavor or if it was just for Christmas spirit. <laughs> but we're almost done. So that was quick. Alright, I'm going to call mine done. I love pork chops. I don't know about you, but I feel like any way to make it different from week to week is a big invitation into my kitchen. But do you like pork chops and applesauce? <laughs> my husband says it all the time to me because it was like um, a big line from the Brady Bunch. I don't think I've ever had that. No, I don't think I've ever had it in that way. So I'm interested to see, like maybe we just been missing out, Gina. Are you ready for the butter, cat? I am always ready for butter, Gina. But three um, ounces is kind of a lot, but okay. Don't question it. <laughs> and then we're gonna toss it around because we want it to emulsify. And what does that look like? I have no idea. <laughs> I think we're done. Gina and I are gonna plate this up and we're gonna come back for our taste test. Are you ready to try the Michael Simon pork chop and apple scallopini? Which I still yes. don't know what scallopini means, yes. but that's what it's called. <laughs> First on ease. <laughs> I forgot what order we did it in. First on ease, one to five. One being horrible and really hard, five being super easy. What do you rate this dish? What do you think of? Super easy to make, but would you make it again based on taste? Yeah. The mm -hmm. same. So why a four, Kat? Mm. Which is still good, I think, right? You're still no, saying it's still it's good. good. It's it wasn't amazing. amazing. It didn't didn't knock my socks off. I didn't go. So when you can tell Gina and I like something because we do a lot of mmm and ah, uh, and this one we didn't really do it because it was just good. Like I think it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. I like my food really 
flavorful and it's still flavorful because it is tangy and it's salty but I think that it just leaves a little to be desired. Well I've never had pork chops with apple anything so for me it came out better than I expected because I kind of felt that was a weird mix of flavors and ingredients with the ham so it was better than I thought it was going to be and I just think it's tasty but again it has that tangy flavor so it just depends if you like pork chops with a little tanginess or if you just like it strictly savory you don't need the garlic with this I don't think we would have even tasted garlic because of all the apple and the ham taste um, if my kids like this I will definitely make it again but it was I liked it, it was better than I thought all right guys there you go Gina and I just did another recipe that we thought was pretty good um, it wasn't a five but I think that a four is pretty good um, try it out you guys might really like it so it might be a really great addition to your holiday dinner or just a regular dinner at home so the recipe will be linked below if you're interested in making this and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos see you guys next week bye